Hello athletes and fans of bodybuilding, Tarek El Gindi with the Mr. Olympia. The Tampa Pro just happened, what an incredible show, congratulations to promoter Tim Gardner. Let's start with bodybuilding, Akeem Williams versus Kamal El Garni. Kamal El Garni more conditioned, Akeem Williams bigger, a lot bigger. Now the key question is, what is the, the difference in terms of conditioning? How much more condition was Kamal versus Akeem Williams? And then let's look on the other side and pay attention. How much bigger was Akeem Williams than Kamal El Garni on the muscularity round? Now there are other factors we need to take in consideration. Posing, controlling your abdominal section, small waist, lines, who won certain poses, who lost certain poses. With all that, then we came to the conclusion Akeem Williams won the event. Now, Kamal El Garni is a sensational competitor. His conditioning is impeccable. If he wants to battle it out against the bigger guys, he's gonna have to increase his size on the quads and his lats so that his waist becomes smaller. Now, if you look at Akeem Williams, he's gonna have to solve that issue on the back double biceps. He's gonna have to have not only more detail, but more muscle. The insertions are high and his conditioning needs to be better. We've seen battles like this for years. Lee Haney against Rich Kasperi. Rich Kasperi had the striated glutes, but couldn't overtake Lee Haney. We saw Mohamed Benaziza beating Dorian Yates with more separation on the back. This was neither, it was a separate event. And the questions are not only conditioning or size, the questions are much more than that. Shape, posing, controlling your abdominal section, who has the smallest waist, who needs to improve the most, all those questions come into play. But it was a great event. Both of them are gonna be at the Mr. Olympia. Keon Pearson wins the 212. Forget about Classic, Keon. Just forget it. Don't ever put your name on Classic again. You're a 212 guy. You're massive, you're big, and you have the shape. I think with all this talk about Kamal, Sean Clarita, Derek Lunsworth, I think Keon Pearson can move up and surprise everybody in the world and possibly be the next 212 champion. Watch out for Keon Pearson, and once again, forget about Classic. Moving on, moving on to Classic Physique, Courage Opara wins the Classic. He has nice lines, but I think he's gonna have to add size if he wants to be competitive against some of the top five guys. The lines, the conditioning is not enough. You're gonna have to add size. Like I said before, bodybuilding is a multitude of factors that make somebody unbeatable. And nobody has been unbeatable in the history of bodybuilding. Ronnie Coleman didn't have the best abs and he won eight Mr. Olympias. Let's move on to men's physique. Daniel Amos, talking about great abs, he has great abs, incredible abs. Actually, he beat Andre Ferguson, who might have some of the most amazing abs. In the back, his detail was just superb. I like this guy, Daniel Amos. Moving on to bodybuilding, Chelsea Dion wins the female bodybuilding. Great conditioning. But again, she's gonna have to add a little bit of quads, a little bit bigger on top, and it makes that waist small. That's how you fix the issue of shape. If you wanna battle it out against the guys with better shape, you grow your quads and you get your shoulders that are a little bit bigger. Now, the star of the weekend was Jenny Feldman. There was all this talk of Kamal and Akeem Williams and people are sleeping on the fact that this is an amazing competitor. Look at her front double biceps and back double biceps. I'm talking about possibly battling it out with Sarah Viegas with Natalia Coelho. Great competitor, that's my star of the week right there, Jenny Feldman. Jessica Padilla, just won last week, comes to Tampa and looks even better. Once again, this is like the repeat of the year. Competitors doing multiple shows and getting better. Jessica Padilla, congratulations. Orika Tergali, yes, the fitness. She had a little bit of belly dancing, she was sassy, she engaged with the audience. She's experienced, you can tell she has dancing experience and she's back to the Mr. Olympia. In the fitness is tough, I haven't seen a lot of new faces. It's all the girls that have been there going back to the Mr. Olympia. Now, we're talking about the wellness, Diana Carreño, she wins the wellness, she's got great glutes, really good glutes. 
Now she's gonna have to contain the development on the quads because the quads are coming out and they might be overpowering the glutes. Sometimes a small modification to put the, the toes just a little bit inwards and it gets the quads in alignment with the glutes, but a phenomenal competitor. Amy Lean Vasquez wins the bikini. She's a former Miss USA. You don't win the overall at the USA's if you're not good. Now in her pro debut, she got a first call out, but couldn't crack the top five. She gained a little bit of size and now she's going to the Mr. Olympia. Great job, Amy, I'm proud of you. Now moving on to Phoenix, we had French competitor Rodrigue Chesnier winning. Tall, athletic, great conditioning. The tanning was right there. I like this guy because he's kind of a hybrid between tall and athletic with great conditioning. He can make things confusing at the Mr. Olympia when you put him right next to Aaron Banks and Brandon Hendrickson. Now, I was in Singapore, yes, I was judging there and I saw some amazing bikini competitors and Karen Yoon wins the bikini in Singapore. She kind of reminded me a little bit of a Laura Lee Chapados in terms of structure, a little bit taller, a little bit fuller. If she comes in just a little bit tighter and a little bit darker on the, on the tanning, she can be very formidable in the Mr. Olympia. In addition to that, Dan Solomon wins the Ben Weeder Award in Tampa. Most people don't know this, but the change between Las Vegas to Orlando within five weeks from the show was made by Dan Solomon. And that was a very courageous decision. It turned out it was one of the best Mr. Olympias ever and one of the most courageous decisions an executive has ever made. Well deserved, Dan. Congratulations, myself, Dan, and the entire Mr. Olympia team will be there. I will see you at the Mr. Olympia.